Hello. Um, you can't really see me very well, but whatever. Um, I can't turn my lights up any more than they are. Uh, this is my first video blog to talk about the surgery that I'm having. Um, so I have a lump in my boob, in my left one, and it's a benign tumour, but it is three centimetres by two centimetres by one centimetre, and it actually, it's painful, and it's in my smaller boob. So I have asymmetry, so one of my boobs is bigger than the other, and it's always, like, annoyed me. But, yeah, the mass, the lump is in my smaller boob, so when it gets removed, I actually need reconstruction and it filled in to match the other one so I'm actually getting both why not new boobs if I have the opportunity to do so and I'm going to do it all in the one surgery then why not um and I feel if I was just getting one implant in the one boob that the other one would look funny it would look like weird and it's also you know like about confidence and feeling good about yourself so I'm getting both done and there's nothing wrong with that and yeah so it's being done by Dr. Phil Richardson at um here in Brisbane in Fortitude Valley um my it's actually being done at a private hospital in at the Gold Coast it's called Alamander Private and I'm doing it at a private hospital because it's close to my parents and because of my diabetes, I want it in a hospital where there's all like, you know, the services, if anything goes wrong, rather than just in a day surgery. Don't get me wrong, the day surgeries are great. They're safe and yeah, everything goes well in day surgeries as well. Um, but yeah, it's just my preference to get it done in a hospital. And yeah, what else? Um, Dr. Richardson has been like wonderful. I've had a, a few consultations with him and I'm having two incisions. So we're hitting two birds with one stone by um, making one incision underneath where the lump is being removed and then putting the implant in and then the other side to put the other implant in. Um, and yeah, two weeks before I get it done. Uh, I'm getting it done on Monday, but yeah, the two weeks before I can't, you know, drink alcohol. I've got to make sure my um, blood sugar levels are like, you know, closest to on track as possible. And um, yeah, nothing like, I can't even take Panadol. Anything that thins your blood that can like make it risky for the surgery. Um, yeah, I hope this is informative. I didn't want to make this fancy because I'm just explaining it normally. I'm so bad at explaining things, but whatever, hopefully you get the idea. Um, and yeah, I'll be speaking with the surgery more about, you know, finer details and I can get back to you guys about that. But yeah, the lump actually... If I keep it in, by the time I get to 30, it can increase my chances of cancer. And it's actually painful. Like, that time of the month, it actually gets bigger and it's super painful. Um, and yeah, hope that helps. Um, guess we just have to wait till the next one and yeah, I'll explain more then. Bye.